Good morning. Today is February 28th, and we are reading from the New Living Translation Bible, and we are doing Psalms 23. And Psalms 23 is some, like, we know Psalms 23. Everybody knows Psalms 23. Um, and so I know it by heart. You know, it's one of my first scriptures that I learned, um, and it's such a good scripture. It really is. And if you don't know it, you should read it today, right? Okay, Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows, he leads me besides peaceful streams. He renews my strength, he guides me along the right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me when anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I'll live in the house of the Lord forever. And like I said, I know it, you know. Um, but let's break it down, right? Because the Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. We got to remember God gives us everything we need. Not what we want, but what we need, right? So God gives us what we need, and sometimes it's hard to remember that. It really is. Sometimes you're like, oh, I need this, and I need this. No, you don't, right? Because it's God gives us what he knows we need. You know what I mean? He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me besides peaceful streams. God lets us rest. He gives us my life with the devil I thought it was great. I did because I was with the world and I was with Satan and I was just so happy because I lived life however I wanted to. But my life with God is so much better. Just so I have peace. I have joy. I, I love who I am. That was the biggest part because I didn't love who I was before, you know, and I love who I am today. He renews my strength. He guides me along the right paths, bringing honor to his name. We honor God, right? I'm honoring God right now by talking to you. Like, you know, and God guides us. He guides us on along the right paths. He, he tells us, like, if we're doing something wrong, oh, if I'm doing something wrong, I know it. Like, I totally know it when I'm doing something wrong because I get scripture yelling at me. Like, God's like, oh, okay, you want to do that? Here you go. And then he has me read a scripture. I'm like, ooh, I did something wrong. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and staff, they protect me. Your rod and staff, come protect and comfort me. Um, so, a lot of times we are... Satan are rebuking the name of Jesus. That was just a little thought that decided to like come in and like try and disturb everything. Um, a lot of times we are walking through this darkness. Okay, we are walking through darkness and everything. And it says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. Fear. Do not fear. You have God in your life. There's nothing for you to fear. What is there for you to fear? There's nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. When you have Jesus in your life, you do not fear. You do not fear at all. Um, and because God protects us and he comforts us, that's what he does. He just, like, wraps us up in his arms and, you know, and you can sit and cry there. It's good to cry. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You will not honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. That is such a good one, right? Because in the midst of our enemies, there is a feast. Like, we are sitting there, we're like, yep, God's got my enemies because the enemies aren't attacking me because God's got it. Like, that's what that means. It's like he prepares a feast for us in the presence of our enemies. That is so good. And it says, Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I'll live in the house of the Lord forever. Goodness, love, grace, faith, all that stuff is God's. That's, that's what God gives us. That's what God gives us. And 
We will live in the house, Lord, forever. So I'm not going to hell anymore. I was destined for hell in my past life. And now, nope, I get heaven. It's heaven. That's where we get to go is heaven because we're giving our lives up for Jesus, right? We're giving our lives up for God. And we have the gift of eternal life in heaven. Isn't that beautiful? That is just so beautiful. So, 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 so beautiful. Yes, so beautiful. I want you to have a blessed, blessed, and wonderful day. Have a blessed and beautiful day. I love you.